Adrian, Max machining happening in the background here. Can you tell our audience just what that is from Hypermill? Okay, it's a process really which is embraces roughing and, and finishing. Um, so people are used to roughing or what we call max, max roughing, where it's um, a process like trichoidal machining. Um, but more importantly, I think, is the finishing style of max, max machining. So um, the finishing is using a conical barrel tool today, machining apart and in, in really incredible um, time savings. Is it actually a, a true application or is it something that's just been created to show off these benefits? Oh, definitely it's a real application. So it's no, no tricks, no, uh, no smoke and mirrors. Um, this is a very easy process for people. Click some faces, uh, click, the, click the calculate button, the cam system will give you the result. Super easy to use for, for people. Uh, this material you're cutting here, it's aluminium, isn't it? But applicable to all, all types of materials? Uh, certainly. I mean, yeah, aluminium today because this is, you know, the time, the time we have to present uh, is very limited. Um, but equally, the, the harder, the more difficult the material, the greater the benefits you see. So titaniums or inconels using this technology will get even better benefits from. How important is the collaboration here? Uh, obviously, there's a DMG mooring machine behind us, which is uh, the machine in question. Then you've got the quick grind tools. How important is the collaboration here, Adrian? Oh, it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting collaboration simply because you're able to have the time to really explore what the, what's possible with the, with the technology. You know, these, we're not taking a machine out of production or anything. These machines are here for this purpose of, of exploring the technology. And these events, how, how, how successful are they? Oh, for us, very. I mean, uh, we do see people from these events where um, they, they become, on, they come late, later as um, customers. So they see some technology here and they, they try to explore it in their own environment. Uh, we've been talking about Max Machining for quite a while now with yourselves. Have you got many users in the field that are actually yeah, utilising uh, the benefits of this strategy? Oh, abso absolutely, and it's growing every day. So uh, definitely there's, there's users. And it's quite interesting coming to come in see because they use it slightly differently than we expect. So they're, you know, you, 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 when you start to talk to them you can, you know, and see their, their, their parts, you can really see how they're using it and saving time. And it's not going to cost me more in my tools? It's not going to give me additional tool wet? No, definitely not. I mean, this, this is the process, with the, especially with these conical barrel tools. Yes, they are a little bit more expensive because of the geometry of the tool. There's no hot spots. The tools tend to last a lot longer than normal bore mills. So uh, what, you, what, you, what it costs you with uh, the type of technology you save on, on tool life. And is there any stresses, extra stresses on the machine tool? No. Is it is. We have te different de technology, we have a simultaneous based technology and an index based technology and these, this index is great for the older, tile, older style machines or heavier machines like gantry style machines where a simultaneous is great for the more uh, dynamic type machines. Uh, you have a DMG Mori here, we have a DMG Mori in action, everybody knows where they sit with their technology. What about lower cost 5 axis machines? Would this strategy still work? Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean it's really, really, really surprising. We, we have seen some that I won't mention in the market that are really at the, uh, the lower end with really brilliant results. So it, it, it's, the nice thing about this is it's, it's a proven technology, it's robust in um, entry style machines right to the high, uh, high end and new machines and old machines as well. So you can use it across a real spectrum of, of machine types. Uh, open Mind Max Machining, like I said, we've spoken about it quite a bit in recent years. What's new from Open Mind? Uh, well, we, of course, we explore the, the Max Machining range more. There's more functions and features in, it, in every release. We bring, we bring more uh, of that technology out. But we, we have a new area now which we call Virtual Machine. So Virtual Machine is, uh, is pretty new in the marketplace now. This is a bi-directional simulation tool. So we're pulling information off the machine and replicating that in the virtual world and checking for any, for any problems. All from one supplier now then? Absolutely. So it's, uh, it's for uh, hype mill users, so um, it's for people using, using hype mill, but we can really um, you know, grab the, the tool libraries off the machine, have a bi-directional uh, bi -directional link with the machine, just grabbing the datums and the, and the parameters on this machine, check it you know, in, the, in the virtual world, and make sure you don't get those, those silly errors of wrong tool, wrong carousel. and Co Costly errors, so necessary software. Sounds great. Thank you, Agent. Enjoy the uh, rest of the event. No problem. Cheers.